Worms mania. Wow, what, what is it? Mark, are we trading first? Are we, yeah, are we yeah. both trading first? Yeah. first? Okay, okay. No, 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 I don't know the order. Okay. Do you need okay. a salad or something? <laughs> so I got here a little late last night. In the hotel, same extended stay I stayed at some, what, 12 years ago now. <laughs> yeah. It's my spot. It uh, Right next door is um, Jack in the Box. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. And so I, I drove in, the Uber dropped me off, and I'm like eyeballing the Jack in the Box. <laughs> like a flex I got toy. meals, you know, I couldn't put a steak in the in the microwave, but so I went out for my 10 minute walk last night over uh -oh. the Jack in the Box, and the doors were locked. They're only doing drive through, and you have to have a car to do drive through, so I, I had to go home and eat my steak. <laughs> But I, I, I was. You were jonesing for it. I almost. I almost did. This is Sean Baker. Hey, you Andre. Andre Mosley. Yeah. How you doing, Andre? Stan. How are you? Good talking to you. I'm old. I'm, I'm 54 now. Somebody tell him I'm old. Let's start with two. Start. We start real light. Go ahead, pull the plate off that one. Warming up the knees. Blood in the knees and the quads, I like it. It's one of my favorite warm-ups, just this or an incline treadmill walking backwards. 15 degrees at two miles an hour. You try and go for maybe four or five sets of 60 seconds, and you're, you're totally warmed up. You can go get under a bar. Hey, Dr. Baker. <clears throat> Mind showing us a little bit of, yeah, you're gonna do a little med ball stuff? Yeah, explosive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just to kind of warm up. Hopefully I'll have a little more grip on that damn ball. So we can hit the ceiling with it or hit that little crossbar. Dr. Baker works on explosive stuff. I do not. And uh, let's see, how many excuses can I come up with on why I'm not gonna be good at this? You do a lot of explosive stuff, and then what are like what are some of the reasons? What's what's some of the benefit? It has a lot of athletic carry. You know, I mean, like I said, with a, with with a ball which, which you can release, there's no slowdown. Like when you're doing a snatch, yeah. you're still having to catch it yeah. and control it. So with something like this, this is what a lot of throwers do. They, they're they're able to accelerate all the way through. Right. And that allows you to, you know, be more explosive in that way. And you just kept that stuff in, like you used to do Highland game stuff. So right, just... right, right. I started doing this stuff about 15 years ago when I started throwing. Yeah. And started learning. You know, if you train with some of these shot putters, they're, they're extremely explosive. Yeah, yeah. They're powerful guys. Yeah, I've seen some guys jump right up on the reverse hyper off of one leg. Yeah, that's pretty Unbelievable. Cool. Pretty impressive. All right, I'm going to hit the seal yep, on this yep. one. Feels like 10 pounds heavier than that. Really? Is it dense? Yeah. Fire! Yeah. Get ah! I don't know. If it does hit, we get a stuffed animal, right? <laughs> yeah, <it's> like... <laughs> ah! So if you're gonna lift with the big boys, you gotta learn how to cheat. So I'm gonna take some mind bullet. This is a mind bullet potion, get me fired up. Hope nobody's looking. First of all, this will help you with pain if you have uh, chronic pain, like I do. But one thing that really, really helps is this Voltaren, which I also consider cheating. You basically rub it on uh, your knee, or whatever joint hurts, and the pain just goes away. This used to be a prescription medication, but now it's available over the counter. It's called uh, yeah. Voltaren. This gets rid of joint pain real easy. I'd want to use trap bar today. Well, well. <coughs> there.
love this bar too. Yeah, I've got one. Is that the same one you got at home? Coming for you. There you go. Still in the game. Still in the game. Shocking up for 315. You know it's getting serious now. Look at those blues. It must work out. Monday I did it for 17. Yeah. And I was going to do it next Monday on my birthday for 20, but since I'm with you guys, I'll yeah. be able to do it. Let's a do it. Early. Let's so do I it. I figure I'll have the motivation here. 50, not to be 55 years now. old. Yeah. Going to do 405 for 20 on the uh, the trap bar. The thing I changed recently is I was doing a lot of touch and go reps. Yeah. So I've, I've gone to all dead stops. Are you dead stopping these 20? I'm going to try. You're a beast. You're a beast. I'm going to try. That's going to be hard. So I, I dead stop. That changes the metric. I was thinking I could do 20. Touch and go. Well, because some of you, everybody's giving me shit about doing touch and go. Yeah. You know, I was like, okay, I'll, I'll start working toward dead stuff. So I've been doing that for about, I don't know, a year. It yeah. doesn't matter. Everybody on the internet is awesome. expert. Perfectly, or do it whatever way you can. There we go. Yep. That's not. Which is not good for me. That's deep water for uh, for the one rep guy here. Doc's got some world class endurance, so it's, it's, it's he's going to beat me on the stamina game today. He's smart. That's why he's a doctor. Let's do it. Highest one ever, I think, is uh, he did a sumo pull and a conventional pull over 400 kilos. I think, yeah. Mark, you gonna go first or what? Are you in? On, are you in on this? I, I'm out. I'm out. You're I'm officially out. I'm 20. off the team. Chris, you gonna do the 405 for 20 with it? I might try it. Might try we'll it? see. Okay. Andre's we'll probably gonna pull seven. So I think uh, any other team? Yeah. Come on, Doc. Let's go. Come on, Doc. Go. 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 Thanks, guys. I ran out of air counting for Doc. I don't know how this is going to work. Yeah. The grip's the hardest part. He's got them uh, gargantuan 
fingers and hands. Twenty for me, Doc. Woo! Up, up. There you go. Let's go, Sam. Come on. Come on. Up, up. 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 Oh, 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 <laughs> nice one, sir. That was stuff, amazing, bro. dude. I was nice only going to do 22, and you're like, 25! <laughs> no, I, I, I <laughs> that is so wrong. Camera going, I'm like, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Well, yeah, I know you're happy right now. Get it, come on. Right, 45, come on, Chris. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Good, good. My back's just giving up. That's not a good set, bro. That was awesome. That was still pretty, right. still pretty fast. All right, I, I know that was the last one. <laughs> My legs were shaking. Do some other back type shit and then do some carries, maybe? Yeah. Like some rowing or whatever. Yeah, let's do a, a row. Yeah, show me some body bones there. I don't know how to do that. I always or? like the chest supporter going. Mark's got one over okay. here. Okay, cool. Let's see that. That'd be good. I don't. I train at home, so I got a barbell, you know. So I, I'm limited on some of this other body and stuff. So yeah. So you're like 225 right now, Mark, something like that. Nice. Yeah. You know what shocked me is uh, Mike Dolce went all the way down to 185. Oh shit. Yeah. yeah. For a short bit there, he might. I don't know where he's at right oh, now, but shit. I was like, damn, my apnea would go away if I did that. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's really. Loud. Mike Dolce is like a master of uh, getting weight down somehow. Yeah. He does are like all, you know. Yeah. I think Chael Sonnen or something lost like 20. One of his guys lost like 21 pounds in a day just him manipulating everything. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fucking crazy. Yeah, the water cuts. But Mike's dieted down. Don't say dieted all the way down from, he got as high as like 215, 220. Dieted all the way to 185. That's amazing. Yeah. I don't know if I could do it. My, my psyche. Oh, yeah. What's the I'd weigh less than my wife. <laughs> what, what do you think you could get? What's the lowest you think you ever get to? Can you go that route? Who, me? Yeah. I don't remember because I was a skinny kid. So I will, like Michael Hearn sent me a picture yesterday of him at 18 yeah, and him now. And he's about the same yeah, weight. Yeah, yeah. But I was, you know, 140 pounds. Yeah. I could easily drop down to 200 right. in just a matter of a few months. I, I, I could lose a pound a day. That's like crazy. clockwork. That's nuts. I have to force myself to eat enough just to maintain. Like I'm, I'm kind of in a it's gain season this winter, so I put on 10 pounds in the last few months, which I'll take off as soon as the spring hits. How many did you do with that? 25. That thing throws me around. I try to do it all the time because you do it. Yeah. I'm always like, I gotta catch Dr. Baker, and I'm like, Dude. that's 204 pounds. That one. That's two. 204 pounds? Oh shit! I don't know how you do it, Doc. I don't know how he does it either. It throws me all over the gym. Yeah, he's saying step, set it down, step away, step away, step away back here like you're, you're reaching. Yeah. And you can kind of lean into it and then just kind of get that swing going. First couple are tough. And then it's just, you know, snap the hip and grow. Yeah. Hip ends and snap the thighs. And step away from it a little bit so you get more of a longer stretch. Well, I'm only good for two pumps, so my, my wife knows. Hey, yep. Snap the hips there. Snap the hips. There you go. <laughs> it'll, it'll get away from you pretty quick. Halfway. Keep going. Keep going. All the way. 15 feet. 10. 8. Come on, dig it. 6. Let's go. Let's go. Three. No quit, no quit, no quit, no quit. One. There. You're good. Beautiful. Yeah.
Is that a few bucket? Yeah. There's some weighted carries with some chains too. And I have these uh, grip bells. They're not that heavy. But the chains around our neck. Okay. Um, what are those things? Yeah, those are grip bells. Okay. See if you can even find the 90s over in that pile. I'm gonna go grab some chains. Okay. I think chain is about 20 pounds. This isn't like that bad, but it gets there. Knees up, which I was getting backwards walking. You guys can't catch me. Nice. Uh, I think last week I did like one and a half. So I did, I did three times. Good job, bud. What else do you guys want to do? Got it? Eat. All right. Want to hang? Yeah, oh, hang. yeah, let's do a hang. Hang for time. I mean, while someone's punching in the stomach. Yeah. Well, they looked at centenarians, people live over 100. Yeah. And they correlated midlife, you know, 40 to 50 years of age, grip strength. If you're in the top quartile of grip strength, the odds of you reaching 100 are 250% above, you know, the lower quartile. Mm -hmm. So grip strength is just a proxy for how strong you are. It's not like... If you just disproportionately develop your grip strength, you're not going to get the benefit. Probably the better estimate is lower extremity strength. Because you think about it, functional, functional movement, right. being able to ambulate, being independent. Grip strength is kind of an ass, just some proxy yeah. mark, but yeah. really leg and ass. You know, you, you see those old guys that have like a flat ass. They got nothing in the you know, no, no junk in the trunk. Right. Those guys lose their walking speed, and then they start to die quicker. So you want that shit. So I noticed just, even from that... Uh, hips are rotated forward and then the knees are bent. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's just... And you kind of like walk like it's this. It's just a total decline posture. So when I, when I, when I walk behind, I'm always, I'm always staring at guys' asses, right? Now. If I walk by and I see some guy with a flat ass, I'm like, yeah. you're not, you're not, you're frail. You're not long for the earth. It's hard so, to walk around with that pancake ass right, much but, you know, but what makes humans human yeah. is our ability to be upright. And if you think about it, our gluteal muscles compared to any other... Uh, quadruped is huge. Yep. We have a huge glute relative yeah, to anything else. Like you look at his dog. we're able to fart so loud. Well, <laughs> it's, it's, it's what allowed us to be upright. And so that, yeah, that's that too, though. That's See? another advantage. Right? I know, it's not a bad. Keep going. Keep going. All right. Yeah, I think it was 105. Stop it, 107. Oh, that's no joke. Hey, uh, Sean, why don't you go last, because you're going to smoke us. I don't know. <laughs> Anybody else want some of this? I'll Seema, go, you want some of this? I'll go next. I'll go yeah, next. I bet Seema's got about, a good one. Seema's good. Yeah. Yeah. dick around the bar. Right? <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> yep. All right. We're allowed to heckle, right? Come on, baby. Yeah, we're allowed to Ready? I can't wrap my thumbs up. Sam's got to stay vertical and not horizontal on this. Go right on. Go, keep it going, keep it going. Go, go man. <laughs> Minute 16. <laughs> One. It's just that because your left was staying. About 119. 119. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think grip. You mm -hmm. also did deadlifts beforehand, so. I didn't do deadlifts. That's the only reason why I didn't do those deadlifts. I've never been so pumped before. Like, it's like, what the fuck? Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Wow. So, uh, that's good for your grip strength, man. Yeah, help, I didn't know that. Yeah. Ten more.
Keep going. Hold it. Hold it. Hang on. Hang on. Hold it. Yes. Hold it. Hold it. We got two. We got one. Fuck! <laughs> that was close. That was about 156. Yeah. Somebody got two. This thing doesn't work, so I just go, go like hell for like 15 seconds, I think. This is my forte. Cardio's, you know, right? It's my thing. Every knee pump is one rep. So I, so I want to hit at least 15, 15 single knee pumps every five seconds. Specifically for speed skating. Mm -hmm. It doesn't really it doesn't really translate to what you're doing. So what we're doing here is we're providing a long work or rest to work ratio. You want something four to eight times rest versus work. Yeah. And more depending on the intensity. So five second allows you to go full intensity. You need enough recovery period. Like you know that 25 seconds. Exactly. You just, like if I was only hitting you 10 seconds, I would have been. You would not have gotten fucked. 18, 20 reps every time. So you yeah, want yeah. enough time so you can maintain that intensity. Mm -hmm. Five to eight reps is a good good selection for time. It only like takes you two to two to four minutes maybe. Yeah, but you did you did a, you did that before for 30 reps. Yeah, like, like that was my whole workout. Yeah, that was, that was okay. like a post jiu so I don't want to really strain. I don't yeah, yeah. Still doing this on carnivore. Like, are you eating any carbs at all? In not even fruits. Nothing. No fruits. I had steak and eggs for breakfast. Then. That's it. I, so I mean, I mean, you know, I can argue maybe I do better on carbs. But I think I'm doing pretty decent. Oh, absolutely. Right? I mean, you know, absolutely. Like I said, I'm 55, and you know, it's like. I do mean, you think if you had a little bit of like maybe fruits in your diet, do you think like maybe for example on something like this, it probably, would you be able to get like one it, more rep it, out? It might be sure. I think so. I think that's fair to say. The problem for me is, does it negatively impact me and my recovery and my inflammation, perhaps? And then yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. then it's like. And so I don't work out today, so then I miss a workout. So it's kind of a, you know, and I think it's specific to the individual, and I think it's specifically to how old you are, too. Yeah. Because when I was, you know, when I was, I don't know, 30, I was eating everything. Mm -hmm. And I was 280 pounds, and I was stronger. Shit. And I mean, but, but, but the same. I mean, I mean, I topped out at 305, which is my, my biggest, but uh, that was not a, that probably was a mistake in retrospect. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay.